Namaste. How's it going? Issues of the eyes, yeah, the optic nerves, could be an indication of energy blockages, stagnation, cuts in the abdomen cavity. Yes, the Manipura chakra, the solar plexus, influences and regulates our vision, the occipital part of the brain. It's associated with light. All right. So yoga is so helpful for you know, preventing these issues from happening. Yeah, so yoga is not the cure itself, but it's a preventive way. So we can yeah, release and burn out and dissolve and free our bodies of stagnation before they accumulate. Yeah, and then when it comes to techniques in yoga, asanas are so powerful for yes, attaining that purpose of cleansing, irrigating, and clearing the blockages in the core region. Yeah, not just the core region, our overall uh, well-being actually, and wellness. Yeah. And then when it comes to that particular part of uh, energetic anatomy, yeah, uh, techniques where we twist the spine, yeah, like this, yeah, binding, yeah, they help us massage the organs inside the core. What else? Forward bending, yeah, we close the hips, um, hip openness too, because stagnation there could be an issue of, um, could be caused by issue of elimination. Hip openness, the reclining ones, and my favorite is actually this. Yeah, Masyakridasana. This is an overall technique of not just uh, relaxing the nerve of a sacroiliac uh, region, but also for easing the tension in the hips and then really opening the core region and relaxing and uh, activating the Manipura Chakra. Because when you're lying down um, prone like this, the energy can easily pierce your abdomen cavity. All right, so some strength component too, for example, arm balance, the Mayurasana in Hatha Yoga, yeah, where you are resting your body on your forearm and you're pressing through the hands, yeah, the peacock position is powerful for preventing disease from happening. So it's really one of the most powerful technique, but yeah, alternatively, you can do the fist. Yeah, when you're kneeling on the Balasana, this one, and you um, form the fist, and then you use the fist to dig in and massage there inside, and then folding over your legs. But don't do this with a full tummy. Uh, the morning practice is ideal when the body is still empty and relaxed. All right, when it comes to pranayama, helpful, accessible for all is the Kaplabhati. <laughs> Although it's not a pranayama, technically it's a shakarma, but the, the Kaplabhati, what it does, yeah, Organically, as you do the technique, you massage and stimulate the core and it opens the frontal part of the brain. Yeah, the optic nerves, yeah, frontal part of the brain. <laughs> yeah, it makes um, your senses sharper. All right, uh, pranayama, of course, Nadi Shodhana, with retention. Yes, yeah, so the Purakumbhaka, we use the pressure of the breath to irrigate the channels there inside the core. The Purakumbhaka, inhale retention, exhale, the other nostril, breathing in. You may just look at my mini tutorials here yeah, regarding this technique. So, yes, yeah, so the Manipura Chakra, the eyesight, they're closely related. And of course, you need to support with healthy lifestyle and a diet. Yeah, don't smoke, yeah, don't drink alcoholic beverages and relax. You need to relax the eyes. Yeah, see colors of nature. Our eyes, when they see natural colors, they relax and this affects the vagus nerve. And the vagus nerve is one important part of our parasympathetic nervous system. So the vagus nerve controls many functions of our endocrine, even digestion, metabolism, production of uh, hormones, yeah, the uh, amplification and the rejuvenization and the magnetization of our soma, the cerebrospinal fluid. Yeah, it's so important yeah, when we become one with the impression of nature, we relax the vagus nerve because when we're stressed, when we're tight, the vagus nerve contract and this will affect the inner system. So really all of this holistic approach will help you yeah, manage your health. Yeah. But this is not just a one day practice. You need to do it every day. So but you know, what's a short, yeah, you know, thirty minutes, yeah, for a long term of benefit for your body, yeah, for your mind, for your spirit. Thank you and I'll catch you in the next lesson. Master.